Yuito, wake up. What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, uh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. That's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Why did you stop? What? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito. I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru, is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah, you'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay, 
I'll do that. I'll tell Command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, you'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait. That's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaragi's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumaraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeragi. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Hey, excuse me. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? And you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because... Well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is. But people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Sinet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? Huh. 
What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo, because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital, in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. So this is the old OSF hospital. I was very young when I stayed here, so I don't remember much about it. There was nothing left of Lokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If this building is still being used, maybe they cleaned it up on purpose. Huh. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right, uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. I heard that the old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. Is he hiding something? Tsukumi, the bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I won't be able to give you much support. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes. Nagi, there's so much I want to ask you. There's a resource nearby. Don't get 
Thank you, Javi. I need your help. Thanks, Navi. I'll help. Here we go. Yeah. No way. The shell is broken. Give it everything you have. I'm going to get stronger. Afraid of ghosts showing up than others. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. But if they do exist, they'd be here. Oh, if I see a ghost. I'll let you know. The big attack on Loka Show was 11 years ago. That was when the old OSS hospital was abandoned and the new facility moved to Sua. Yes, along with all of the patients and equipment. If we trust the government announcement. I need your help!
This doesn't make sense. Why would there be others inside? The biggest reason others are here is for food. They want our brains. It doesn't look like there are many humans for them to feast on. Have you heard anything about this place from your uncle? No, not really. And I only really see him at New Year's, so... <sighs> there he is! Nagi! Yeah. Nagi! Nagi, wait! You're safe! Yuito... We were worried about you. Your name was on the missing persons list. Plus, I wanted to ask you about what happened. I'm... sorry. Nagi, what made you do that to us? How should I know? Huh? It feels like my brain just suddenly froze. And my head is all messed up. It won't stop spinning. How could that be? Leave! You can't stay here! What? What's gotten into- If you stay here, you'll be rehabilitated just like me! So that's what's going on. The rumors were true. Rehabilitation? 
Nagi? What's that? An alarm? More others! They must have been watching us. I'll take care of this. Get out of here! No, I'll fight too! I said no! There's no telling when I might snap and try to kill you guys again. Just like with Captain Seto. I can't let that happen. I'm begging you, get out of here! Then at least come with us. I can't. I just told you I could snap and turn on you any second. I'll find my own way out. You guys, go on ahead. They're gonna rehabilitate you if they catch you. Or worse, they'll skip that and turn you into an other. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Luca, why? You were panicking. It was best to do what Nagi said and leave the hospital immediately. But don't you care that they might be turning people into others? We can talk later. We need to regroup. This is the only place I could secure as a safe teleporting zone. We have no choice but to go on foot from here. They must already realize that we know too much. It would be best for us to run. I know this isn't what you want, Yuito. Normally, we would be following your orders since you're the leader. But this place is far more dangerous than we imagined. Please allow me to do what I can to prioritize our escape. Okay. Everyone. Let's keep an eye out for others while we move. It's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel, but we should prioritize our escape. Nagi. 
Benito, we have to get out of here. I know. Luca was right. But I just wonder if Nagi's okay. Yuito. my power, Yuito. Damn it. Others are everywhere. We'll never make it to the exit. Can you make it out of the hospital by yourself, Luca? No. 
Teleporting is too dangerous in areas where there are this many others. Calm down. If Wataru doesn't have the data either, my memories... Huh? Watch out! Above you! Yuito! <clears throat> Busy looking farther out. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention either. Sorry. And thanks. Sure thing. More importantly, others are coming this way. Let's take them on. to take it down. Is everyone okay? Others are gathering. Damn it. Why are there so many others? Wataru, Sugumi, are there any safe spots nearby? As I've said before, there's absolutely no data on this old building. Sorry. 
There are others everywhere. What? What is this? There you are. Major General Fubuki! Everyone, come with me. We'll lose those others by following the underground highway through the ruins of Lokusho City. Um, where are we? Is this a safe zone? Safe zone? What is that? A blind spot in New Himuka's surveillance system. We call it the safe zone. We'll be able to talk here freely. We could talk outside of the city, but we don't want to be seen by any patrolling OSF members. I never knew about this. If you want to talk here, that must mean it's something you don't want the government to know. I suppose it does. Had I known sooner that you were going to OSF Hospital, I might have been able to scheme better. You must have known what kind of place the OSF Hospital was. Yes. Seems like you didn't hear anything about it. They conduct power research at that hospital, funded by the New Himuka government. They draw out stronger powers by tuning the human cerebrum. I had no idea they were doing such things at my uncle's hospital. Oh, right. That hospital belongs to the Ichijo family. Listen. What I'm about to say may be hard for you to hear. Huh? As a result of the cerebral research conducted there, a number of byproducts were created. Personality rehabilitation. Yes. They tune the brains of people who are problematic for the government, pacifying them by brainwashing. The government found out that Nagi witnessed Naomi being metamorphosed, so that's why he ended up that way. What? But Gemma Kasane and I saw the same thing. You were all protected under the pretense that I would be monitoring you. But Nagi was captured by the government before I could help him. I'm sorry. If only I'd been able to get a hold on the information sooner. Um, what do you mean Naomi was metamorphosed? I thought she was killed in action. Uh. I see. Naomi wasn't killed in action. She turned into another. Are you really saying that she turned into an other? Nagi said something similar, but is that even possible? That's a byproduct of New Himuka's research as well. A special material is able to turn organisms into others. Any organism with a brain can be turned into an other. Wait. Then does that mean it was the government that turned Naomi into an other? Yes. I'd love to sit here and tell you everything, but staying in the city is dangerous. Most likely, the government has already given the order to hand you over to them. I want you all to go out and patrol. I'll do what I can to take care of everything while you're out. Hold on. How is it that you haven't been subjected to rehabilitation despite knowing all of this? It seems like Luca knew too. Right. That's why Luca wanted to prioritize escaping rather than talk to Nagi. It's simple. I'm one of the government's dogs. Luca should have heard some of this from Karin. If you're curious, ask him. Yes. We should go out on patrol. I'll tell you what my brother told me along the way. Yuito, can you please direct us where to go? All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba.
This place is too exposed. We should go somewhere more private. You're on patrol, so make sure you take out those others. Yuito, my power may be helpful. This area should be safe enough to talk. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fabuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fabuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceuticals Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. 
Then does my brother know about it too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Stop! Here we go! Yes, my power? Come on, fire! If you're trying to kill you, I'll do everything to stop you. I just wanted to stay out of this. Fine. Will you please calm down, Sugumi? I can still fight. Sorry. Kasane is out for blood. She may kill us if we don't give it our all. I didn't trust Sato and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane. It's you! Here we go! Defeat them one by one. Let's nullify the other two, and then the sun. Is everyone okay? I feel better. This way. You guys good? Kasane, tell me, why did you kill my father and join Seiron? 
Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito, Kodama is here. Huh? Wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Maloney. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? Of course! I am always on your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. And it wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi! And this goes for the rest of you as well. But it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule... It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo, to go over everything we learned? We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry. Recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. So much has happened. It feels like my brain is fried. Let's go over our situation first. Research on powers is being conducted at the old Ichijo OSF hospital building. It's likely they progressed in the research of the brain, gained the ability to turn people into others, and perform personality rehabilitation. Yes. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know about any of this. Yes. You are so kind to everyone, so I think you should be kind to yourself, too. Thank you. Moving on, the government is well aware that we've come to know this information. Major General Fubuki is trying to put out the fires, but it would be best to consider the possibility that we will become fugitives from the government. Anyone on the run from the government won't survive. Wait, there's Seiron. Yes. Worst case scenario, we should consider fleeing to Seiron. And Yuito, how has your memory been? I haven't had any missing gaps in my memory recently, I think. If anything strange happens, please let us know. Although, concerning that medication you were prescribed. It was prescribed by the OSF hospital. It kind of scares me. Yes, I'm concerned as well. Right. I think it would probably be best to avoid taking it, unless your condition significantly worsens. You're right. I'll do that. Hey, do you think it would be a good idea to ask my brother about this? Well, yeah, Chief Sumeragi is your older brother. I would advise against it. The Chief is with the government, after all. Of course, he is also your family. 
but any unnecessary contact would be dangerous right now. I wouldn't want to hinder Major General Fubuki in any way. Yes, you're right. Kaito, were you aware of New Himuka's power experiments? Did Dad and Kaito do that to Nagi? Damn it! The only one that was left in the dark was me. Only me. Uh, yeah. 